Today's Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, First Community Financial Bank, the community bank where you come first. You're watching Spotlight, and with me today in studio are Jane Betcher and Mike Water of the Mary Tutor. Welcome, guys. Good to have you here in the studio. Yep, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. Oh, you're welcome. Now, it's exciting because this is the first time you've been on the show, and Jane, we're going to start with you, and you're going to tell me, please, if you would, a little bit about the Mary Tutor. Okay, so the Mary Tutor is a nonprofit free tutoring organization, and basically what we do is we take high school um, volunteers and they help tutor elementary and junior high school students in the area. And actually, um, kind of why I started it was because I've always been in a multi-grade level classroom, and um, it was always so helpful to have older students who could help me out with any of the material or any questions. Like I was like is this teacher going to be a hard? How do I interact with this material? And so because they were able to help me out, um, by the time I got to an, the older grade level, I was able to help out the younger students. And so I kind of wanted to replicate that same type of process here in Naperville between um, high school students and elementary kids. So um, we actually tutor at the Nichols Library for free and the Alive Center as well. So you started it. I yes. think that's so exciting because you had a good personal experience in that interaction with people that were older than you and how they taught you, and then you decided you'd do it yourself. Yes. I think that's great. And I, I sent out an email to all of my friends being like, I have this idea. Uh, would you be interested in helping out? And then um, Mike, Mike yeah. responded. I think Mike was the first person to respond. He was like, yes, I want to do Tutor that. Tutor number one. Tutor yep. number one. So Mike, how does it work? Tell us how it works. So it's run entirely by our volunteer tutors uh, to apply they just need to submit an application we look over their grades uh, their teacher recommendation and then we have an interview with them just make sure they're a good fit for the merit tutor and then after that uh, they can start tutoring at the Nichols library or the live center on uh, weekdays at the live center weekends at the uh, Nichols library and so any tutors any local students can stop in we can tutor junior high elementary and since most of our tutors our high schoolers on accelerated tracks. We can also uh, tutor most high school students too, so they can stop in anytime and just drop in, and it's completely free. There's no fees involved. That's a really great system. So it, it, I don't have to schedule it. I can just come by. And, and what subjects are we are we tutoring in? Yeah, so we can do uh, most any subjects actually. The core subjects we've definitely got covered, and even subjects like uh, the languages, Spanish or French. Uh, we usually have tutors that can tutor those as well. Okay. Now, what makes it different, Jane? I mean, this is obviously a very unique concept. It's so exciting that a yeah. high school student started it and got it going. What makes it different? Well, I'm the first thing, like the obvious thing is that it's free, but I think um, the the big uh, plus side to this is that these are high school tutors and so I think we have a certain rapport with uh, younger students and it makes them feel so comfortable and we've been through the same curriculum mm -hmm. so we've had the teachers and we I, I think sometimes the problem that I, I guess my parents even had was just knowing what what exactly are you doing but since we've already been through the classroom it's so much easier I think for us to interact with these students and help them out and then obviously the drop-in part is convenient too because you don't have to schedule an appointment. I know my family is so busy. And so just being able to come in at any time I think is a really nice plus side too. Well, so I think that's great because it's like the old math I'm always being, you know, it's the old math I'm trying to teach and you mm -hmm. know the new math. Yeah. So you're, you're able to do that and, and probably really relate to, to the students that you're working with. Yes, definitely. Yeah. What, what are some of the things that you most enjoy about tutoring? Because you both tutor yourselves, so, so tell, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, I find tutoring very enjoyable um, to know that you're helping your community, helping other students that are going through things that you went through, just, and just making the process a little easier for them. Um, I love seeing students when they finally understand a concept, that aha moment, or when they slowly transition to being able to do it by themselves, mm -hmm. they're doing it quicker. And uh, actually, it's inspired me. I want to major in education and be a teacher and just feel that joy of just helping my community. 
how many tutors do you have? Give me, give me a sense of how many tutors, how many students are getting, are getting support and help with you. Um, so we have about 50 tutors, um, and I think this is really nice because we built such a good community around them, and so all our tutors know each other. And it's, it's kind of a social occasion as well. And then as for two Ts, we have around 60, I think, um, and because we just opened up our location in Aurora, those numbers are growing and growing, and I love to see that. Now this is a model, you talked a little bit earlier with me about you started in Naperville, but this is a model that you hope can be replicated and taken. And you started this place in, in Aurora. Yes, so we just started up in Aurora and it's, it's so nice because it's, it's within the community. So it's powered by Aurora tutors, Aurora students, and it helps um, the younger students in that area. And I have a high school student there who's kind of taken charge of the program there, Basma Uthman. And basically, it's something that any community, if they want to have this free tutoring and this opportunity available, they can, uh, we have a framework for them and they can shoot us uh, an email or contact us via our website and then uh, we can get them the information to actually start it up in their own place. So the wonderful thing is you've got students who are getting help, but you as the tutors, you're really getting some leadership experience yep. and some things for your own uh, education. Like you said, now you've decided to go into the field of teaching. Yep. You've got another project that you're working on. Oh yeah, uh, currently we're writing a textbook. It's centered around the Common Core Standards, which are followed all around our district, so all our students are uh, going through that. It's fourth and fifth grade math, and it's kind of like a guide for our tutors to follow to know what the students need to learn. It has examples, the concepts, sample problems that they can go through and remind them if they've kind of forgotten it because it's probably been a while. That's, that's incredible. It is really amazing. Jane, we're going to finish with you. What, what's the goal? What's the next step? What's the goal? Okay, so definitely the goal is to be able to reach so many more people. I think what we want to do is be able to bring this to different communities. The entire idea behind it is that it is a model. And I, I think that it's it's not just can we provide tutoring in Naperville, but can we make it a possibility for many different um, areas around the state to actually have this in place. It's wonderful. Students helping students. I commend you for your initiative of, of just thinking it up in the first place and then getting it organized and for all the help you're giving. So thank, thank you, you so much for dropping by with us. And if your elementary or junior high student is in need of tutoring, and you, or you might be a high school student who wants to learn more about how to become a tutor, please visit their website. We're going to take a quick break, but we're going to be right back with more Spotlight, so stay with us.